laughing all the way. <laughs> that was a fake laugh, obviously. The sun, would you mind your business? I look like a friggin' lit up moon. Bloody hot. Put that in off. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Merry Christmas. It is six Sundays, including this Sunday, until Christmas. What the hell? As the title probably says, this gift guide is mainly for her, but there's a little bit of something for everyone. But we don't discriminate on this channel, we're red darlings. I'm so excited to show you everything I found. Some things I physically have in person, some things I've just seen online. We're gonna start with something I can't pronounce, the gosh, gashwa? G Gasha. And I picked this one from The White Company purely for the packaging and to me it just looks like a proper gift. I love buying things for people that they wouldn't necessarily buy themselves but would like to have. And I spoke about how I decide on buying things for people in my Christmas planning video so I'll link that somewhere. For me, once I start buying gifts, it kind of dominoes from there. So I think a good gift to buy with the I can't remember how to pronounce it. I've literally watched a video on how to pronounce it three times. You could buy a face oil with it. I personally love the Ordinary Rosehip Seed Oil. Again, a really good price, under £10. And I think together that would make a really nice little skincare gift or a stocking filler, depending on your budget. Speaking of budget, all of these gifts, I believe, are under £50. Next, we have a Pure Silk pillowcase from M&S. And they also do a Pure Silk eye mask. I think this is a really good gift, especially for someone with curly hair. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Again, something that I've always thought, oh, I want one of those, but never justified actually buying one. I think it's a really nice gift. Pure silk, luxury. If you compare this with other sleep style gifts, pajamas, spray mist, other things in that genre would go really well with that. Or it would literally be a really nice gift on its own. One thing I do like to do when buying gifts is solve a problem. So for example, someone close to me was in hospital for a few months and it was their birthday. So I was like, well, what can I buy them? And I just thought of little things that they said. So it hurt them to hold their phone. So I got them one of those arm phone hooks and they struggle to sleep because of the lighting. So I got them an eye mask. So organization, sleep, never have anything to wear. I don't know, that's me. Anyone wanna buy me clothes because I never have anything to wear. Whole wardrobe, no clothes. Next is this really nice makeup bag from ASOS. I think they do it in a pink and another color. It's one of those ones that open up. All your makeup just lays in it, which is good for if you just wanna pick it up and go. I really love the velvet and I think this would be good for teenagers like one of my little sisters and if I was going to say buy the makeup I would put the makeup in the bags so and they would unwrap that and then unwrap the makeup in there. Home Instagram accounts will have you thinking that every single person has a bath tray but they definitely don't and I have gifted bath trays to a couple of people and I was in Dunelm and I saw this one which is basically like mine. I was going to replace mine, realised I didn't need to. And I picked this one up for £17.50. It was on sale. I don't know if it still is, but it is only £25. And it's a really good one. And again, to domino off of one gift, you could buy maybe some little decorative bits that you'd put on here, a candle, and then there's bath bombs. Everyone loves a bit of Lush at Christmas. I did recently find out that Lush is on ASOS. Not the whole range, but there is a few bits and bobs if you don't fancy going into a packed Lush this year. I had to include my Udi. <laughs> Oi. It is the softest thing ever. This is the inside of it. The original Udi brand is a bit on the pricey side, but honestly, so worth it. I got this for my birthday and it washes so nicely. If you didn't want to pay Udi prices, Pepper Pig. Dun, 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 dun. No pepper. Yes, yeah, so if you didn't want to pay Udi prices, Primark do them and. I found on M&S a Teddy Fleece hooded blanket, which looks so cozy. They do men's ones, they do kids and women. So you could get the whole family one. Oh my God, you can all watch a film in your little hooded fleece blankets. Who doesn't want a dressing gown for Christmas? Is that this is the coziest dressing gown you've ever seen. I always get asked about this every time it's in a vlog. It's so, what the hell is that? Oh no, I've got a Rice crispy. <laughs> oh my God. It's only £28, which I think is really reasonable. Tried and tested. 
My organised bubble approved. I've never seen that again in my life. I might have to just put the website images up for this because can I show you mine? Don't judge me, alright? This is worn to death. These have got to be the best most affordable, just the best quality slippers I've ever had. I'm not even being dramatic. And they're $12.99. No, I want to show you. I've had them for a year and I wear them to death. This... Oh, what is that? The sole is so thick that I think that's why it makes it so hard wearing. Still in such good condition. They're from Lindsay's. You can get loads of different colours and I honestly don't think you can get a better quality slipper for that price. Sticking with the cosy vibes, I bought my little sister last year a humongous Wilkinson blanket. I wasn't going to mention that, but if they still sell it, I'll link that below. What I was going to mention is Urban Outfitters have a really nice fleece one, and that paired with all these gifts I've just spoken about would make such a nice gift. Which brings me on to Urban Outfitters. I'm pretty sure there's a couple of shops that only exist to me in November and December. And Urban Outfitters is one of them. I have found the best, best thing ever. 90s... I was going to say kids, but we're not kids. But we were kids in the 90s. Yeah. 90s kids, you're going to lose your shit. They have a 90s dance mat. I'm sorry, but if dance mat wasn't your life and soul then what were you doing? I've never been so excited. I want one. Look what I found. I just feel like I've gone back in time. That noise. <laughs> They've got quirky little home bits, skincare, books, random just gift bits that you would never think of. They've got different sections, stocking fillers, secret Santa, top 50 gifts. I 10 out of 10 recommend. And after seeing that dance mat, there was no way I couldn't speak about it. Okay, moving on to a few random gifts that didn't really fit into any of my categories that I've got going on right now. The first one is this velvet jewelry box from M&S. They do smaller ones as well. It's a nice gift on its own. It's a nice gift if you're buying someone, say, a Pandora ring. My ring that I've got. If you need some inspo, everyone always asks me where I got this ring from. It is Pandora. And that doesn't count because it's more than £50. But I I'll link it below. <laughs> Next, I've got sun in my eyes. <laughs> One year, I was tempted to ask for a designer card holder. Because they're not that bad in price. They're about 100 and something because I could never find a cheaper one that looked quite as good quality until I found this Whistles one, which is £35. It has the coin bit. It's like it's gonna be nice quality. Obviously, I haven't seen this one in person, but I'm trusting it. I'm trusting the website images. I'm trusting Whistles. But imagine you had a budget of £50 for someone. You could buy them this card holder and put a £15 gift voucher in it. Can you tell I love to bundle things together? It's just how my brain works. Next is good for awkward little brothers that only like to buy expensive trainers from JD. That was a dig, okay? That was a dig. Because I'm sick of buying him JD vouchers. It's very boring. I found some crepe cleaner on ASOS. It's £14. This would be, again, nice to pair with a JD voucher. I just like people unwrapping things. I'm very anti-voucher. All right, unless someone gets it for me and then, you know, I'm grateful, obviously. But I just, I feel like I'm exchanging money with someone and that's not what Christmas is about. Of course, if your sister, your nan, your nan, I don't know why I just pictured a little nan rocking up in some Air Forces. <laughs> and then I saw this matte black reusable ASOS cutlery thing and I've just realized in this moment, no one's gonna use that, are they? I would use that. You know people that go to the office all the time? No, but they've probably got knives and forks there. Yeah, no, scrap that gift. Some people literally don't want anything, don't need anything, and they're so hard to buy for, but do they have a monthly subscription service of an eco-friendly box? No, they don't. I like that it's filled with small business items. You can try something new, you might find a new small business that you like. And if you scroll under there, there's so many different options of different gift boxes, subscription services that you can pay for someone, Hello Calm subscription box, Calming Craft subscription, distraction, distraction, the distraction box, a stress and anxiety relief box. 
How cute is that? In my last gift guide, I did talk about another subscription box, so head over to that video if you want to see that. I don't want to repeat myself. But another one I found, which I thought was really good, loads of people love coffee. I don't even like hot drinks. But a Coffee Club three month subscription box. And you will discover two different varieties of the freshest coffee from around the world through your letterbox every month. I feel like the coffee lovers in your life would appreciate this. I don't drink coffee, so I don't know. Is that exciting, coffee lovers? There is honestly so many sentimental gifts out there. Again, Etsy is good for that. But here's a few that I found that stood out to me. The first one is on Etsy. So this is so cute. It says it's a Valentine's gift, but why limit ourselves? A personalized message bottle, like love you to the moon and back. How cute, it's got a little moon in it. I think that's just adorable. Everyone is loving like coffee table books at the moment and I've never seen something like this before. So they're both from Anthropology, which we're gonna get onto Anthropology. I love Anthropology at Christmas. This is a Printworks Good Times photo album. It's a bit on the pricey side, it's 48 pounds, but still within the budget that I'm trying to stick to in this video. It just looks like a coffee table book, but inside, you can fill it with photos, it's like a scrapbook. How nice would that be if you was to fill it up for someone and give it to them or just gift it to them completely empty? It's such a nice way to have photos out without them being out. Am I allowed to put this on YouTube? Are they gonna demonetize me? Here we have a dick in a box. <laughs> a chocolate... N no. <laughs> a chocolate... A chocolate, in some cases, in a box. Oh my god, they do candles as well! I don't know if I can put these on screen. I don't want to get demonetized. I want that moolah, you know, I want that fiber that I'm going to get from this video. <laughs> oh my god, and on the um, box of one of them, I don't know if I can put this on screen, but it says, eat a... So many willy themed gifts on Etsy. Completely recommend. Who doesn't want to do that? Want to gift that, not lick a... Eater. Yeah, I'm just gonna shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Next funny gift isn't actually a gift, it is the wrapping paper that you gift the gift. And that is personalized wrapping paper. And there's always that one photo, <laughs> I'm thinking of one now, of someone that you just crack up and it could be like a mugshot of them. I might have done that for someone this year. I'm so excited to give it to them. Moving on to lighting. Starting off with a bargain. I don't know if you've ever looked at neon lights before, but they're normally quite expensive. And I found one in Dunelm for £10. This would be good for a kid's bedroom, a teenage bedroom. I mean, I would have it. I don't mind. It says yay. Yay. Next is not something I've got myself, but Naomi's got one. It looks so cosy. I think I want one as well for my living room. It's one of those sunset lights. I first saw this all over TikTok. There's different colors, the way you can put it on the wall. Who doesn't love a sunset? I've spoken about this so many times on my YouTube, you're probably bored. You get so many different versions of this. You can get white ones, ones that have the same light as this, which is that but have a projection of the moon. So relaxing and good for having like a little party at home. You're never too old for a nightlight. Yes, I mentioned salt lamps in my last gift guide. You can get white ones, more like the orangey ones, grey ones. They're so cosy. They make a really nice reading light. I'm not even sure why I have bulbs in the big light. I never put the big lights on. They actually offend me. And look what I found yesterday in TK Maxx. A Himalayan salt lamp. One of those sunrise ones. Alarm clock. I, I love it. Only 19 99 Which brings me on to electronics. This gift I actually gifted to my entire family, like a family gift. This is hypothetical and I would never do this, but do you know how some people you have access to stuff that is absolutely illegal and you should not do? You could buy an Amazon Fire Stick, which is great on its own, and then you could definitely not put on ways to watch films and stuff for Free. For legal reasons, this is a joke. So a little story time from last Christmas. We put on the Amazon Fire Stick gift and my little sister says, oh, that's a series I wanna watch. Let's put it on and see, you know, if it's good quality. It was a porno. <laughs> it was a bloody porno. It was a Christmas we'll all never forget. My little sister was there like, the littlest, littlest, and we were like, oh my god, copyright. And that is why you should absolutely not do that. It's a good gift. You can't go wrong with some smellies at Christmas. Smellies. Why does that sound weird? People say that, they don't they? Like some smellies, do they? 
you can't go wrong with perfume, body mist, body sprays, and of course, the Victoria's Secrets sprays. If you've never tried these, they smell so good. I think this offer's still on, but in next, you can get three for 27 pounds, which is really good. The two cents I would recommend is this vanilla one. This one is more of a grown-up scent, really nice. I would wear this myself. And this one, again, it's still a grown-up scent, but it's more of that fruity smell. It kind of smells like this, but fruity. I usually get these for my little sisters or my friends, and they're always so popular at Christmas. Is that Peppa Pig again? How long have I been talking? I've not been speaking for two hours, surely not. This is perfect for men, and it's really affordable. They do men and women's, so either, but I first smelt it from the men's side, and that is, I think you pronounce it, Sunamus. I believe it's like oil, and it's on a little dropper, and it smells so good. They're only £19 each. They do bundle deals. I think they're actually doing, which falls out of the budget bracket, but £57, and it's a set of three. They've got a unisex one. They smell amazing. I describe scents as Dubai way too often, but it just smells like Dubai. Really nice, but really affordable, and if you've never heard of them, you're welcome. Oh, they even do like crystal bottles. Wow. I can't talk about scents without talking about Zara. So affordable, really nice. And I don't think everyone knows that Zara do really nice affordable perfume. This black amber one is really nice for the daytime mainly for me. And this one is still daytime, but more nighttime. Speaking of scents, we need our homes to smell just as good as us. And I'm gonna start with this Christmas tree candle from Anthropology. What do you think about gifting people things that are Christmas themed? Because obviously Christmas will be over, but then I see things that are Christmassy that would make cute gifts. But I just had to include this, even if you just wanna buy it for yourself, how nice. You know when all like the body vases and the body candles were in fashion? One thing I never saw is body diffusers. You might have, this is the first time I've seen it, and I think it would make a nice gift. And it's from Next. They've got a white and a black one. Oh, they've also got a 15 pound one, so they've got different sizes, depending on your budget. Once you've finished with the actual scent, you can go buy just the bottles and refill it, and you'll always have that as a diffuser. Another diffuser recommendation is this Balance one from m and is the little five pound one. A whole range like this, I personally, my favourite fragrance is Balance. It smells like, not Dubai, <laughs> spa in a bottle. But a luxury spa. Oh, it just, it smells so nice. And m and do this same scent in candles and stuff like that as well. This would make a nice stocking filler, and this was featured in my last video. If you haven't watched that, why not? Glass straws from Cherries. And if you haven't tried Cherries, I think I still have a discount code. This isn't an ad, but my last video was, so if the discount codes are still valid, I will put them below as well. They also do a gift section. Recommend that too. Now the Cherries purchase is a corkscrew fairy lights, which go into a bottle. And I thought it would be really nice if you got someone a really pretty gin bottle, for instance, with one of those lights. And when they finish the bottle, they could put the fairy lights in. If you're gifting anyone that loves a cocktail, this is really nice. Obviously it's gold. It's a cocktail set. How pretty would that look on someone's kitchen side? Even on a shelf, oh my God, you know when people do them shelves that are almost like little mini bars? My friend also has a bar cart where that would actually look really nice on it. It's a little bit more on the expensive side, 39.50, but it's a marble base and it looks really nice quality. Plant lovers, I've got you. I thought this was the cutest little idea. So it's a propagation station. In my kitchen, I have a bit of another plant, and I put it in this jar, but if I had one of these, I could put it in there, and you can grow different bits. Mindfulness Jigsaw from Dunelm. How nice is that? I just think the illustration is so cute. All the plants, look at that one, she's doing yoga. Not sure on the cat. Two soothing scenes to relax your mind. I know I've already mentioned some anthropology gifts, but I just wanted to mention anthropology as a whole. They have so many good monogram, not mammogram. Their Christmas stuff in general is amazing. It's slightly on the pricier side, but definitely worth it. The quality's there. And if you wanted to gift someone a mug, Anthropology is the place to go. They've got little coasters you could gift with it. I just couldn't do a gift guide without mentioning Anthropology. And even if you don't plan to buy anything on there, it really just 
gets me thinking. Last thing I'm going to show you is this wrapping cloth. A bit of a bougie way of wrapping a gift. But how luxurious and nice is that? And you could probably use it afterwards to wrap around a handbag or something. Or they could re-gift it. And it could like go around. Oh my god, how cute is that? Like where will the wrapping cloth end up? Just as they finish on wrapping it, can I have that back? Cost me 16 quid. Links to everything will be like... I can't even speak anymore. Links for everything will be below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, click the bell. Merry Christmas, good night, ciao, bye.